You look like a Jean-Michel Basquiat. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Black is beautiful. <laughs> In, man. No, I'm I'm good. How's I'm quarantine good. for you? Um, no, I'm I am fine, one hundred percent fine. Yeah, I was set up to work from home anyway. Mm. When they said lockdown is set, mm. you were like, okay, back to normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then again, like the 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 idea of lockdown really amuses me because it's not really lockdown. It's like semi lockdown. Like, for instance, like, UK lockdown is way different to France lockdown. Ah, yeah. Italy lockdown. Oh, yeah. Where, or Spain. like... Or Spain, where you can't go out it's or old. do anything. And it's controlled. Exactly, exactly. But also, not everybody is uh, the same. Like, for us, we, we can kind of stay at home and kind of be comfortable. But can you imagine you're in those really poor flats where the lifts don't work oh god yeah 15 stories high cramped conditions mm. the family of three four five for you to have lockdown is really really hard no i totally vibe with that one thing i noticed was when lockdown begun um uh, I think people were in a very new situation, so, mm. so it was, was so it was almost fun. Yep. Right. Not for the people going going to the shop and just taking everything. Even that was a totally new experience. It's almost like fresh for the like mind, mm. right? Um, and it, you, you don't really get annoyed because it's like new. I think that's when people start thinking about their situation and also the wider context of like society as well. You know, going back to what you said, no shops are open, no yeah. coffee shops are open, yeah. nothing where you can sit down and just actually think. The whole idea of not being able to go somewhere and be surrounded by people. I don't know. I think a lot of people, it really affected them. Yeah, yeah. I think people don't like the idea of being alone mm. or being alone with their own thoughts mm -hmm. do you know the whole uh, i am legend everyone's doing the i am legend memes mm. 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 Yeah, because mm. the guy mm. went nuts at one point mm. Mm. yeah 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 no i can i can totally understand totally understand and we've never been in this lockdown experience it has never happened in our lifetime so how do you react to something which is foreign to you. So what were, your, what were your high and lows? Let's start with the lows. What were your high and okay. lows? My low? Yeah. You know, I, I re I've, I've thought about this and I've thought about this many, many times. I don't personally have a low point. I'm taking this lockdown with a very positive attitude. Awesome. For me, I've reframed my mind to just accept that this is reality. Cool. But... Now I've realized I will never have this time back, ever, ever. So I might as well make do and try to improve myself mm. in every way possible so that when we come out of it at the other end, I want to be a better person, whatever better means, but I want to be a better version of myself. And that's my mentality, yeah. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. With all of this uncertainty, Right, they are 100% certain that if you're an ethnic minority, then, you know, this disease, this, sorry, this virus will kill you. You're on the borderline of getting it compared to anybody else. Exactly. And I, I, I don't understand. Like, show me the data. Show me the data that proves and, and, and <laughs> that you, me and my people are going to die. <laughs> and it, oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah. I mean, some countries, the conclusion were that, okay, people from ethnic minority were still working while the lockdown was on. Hence why their number's higher. Mm -hmm. But, okay, fine. So, there's an explanation. But you can't say 
it will kill you because you're blind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, they're very, very certain, just like death and taxes. I'm taking this opportunity to read a lot more. A couple of books you're reading, maybe one that you've, you've read. Arsene Wenger's autobiography. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, the Professor. Le Pro oh, <laughs> I love him. I love him. Honestly, I just uh, like his mentality, he's an enigma. his <laughs> philosophy, his state of mind. So, lessons learned. Maybe I can't really separate lessons learned from highs and lows. Because mm. um, I think it's always all connected, right? Kind of like the circle of life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know the the actual last time everyone was suffering from the same situation was World War Two. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah, only time I can, I can think of. I can see because that. before that, it was so easy for you to say it doesn't involve me. Yeah, yeah. But this is real. <laughs> this is, you know, this is the Big Bang. This is, uh, well. Yeah. With all our advances in terms of like medicine, washing our hands and keeping two meters apart from people. Yeah, this is hand this sanitizing. Is, exactly. This is what's going gold. to save us. So what have you learnt? <laughs> I, I, what uh, have you learnt? <laughs> what I've learned is there are people that do things every day and sometimes they're not they're not rewarded like they should be so with the doctors and uh it would you know nhs stuff and you know i broke my leg and i was i was in the hospital for a week and i i don't think i i really understood what these guys were doing until when this happened i just thought man these guys if this is war this guy's on the front line yeah i i can't imagine a scenario where as soon as there's no lockdown right. that we just mm -hmm. go back to what it was before it's impossible totally. impossible i think this this will affect people for what 10 10 15 years i believe that This is the only, honestly, <laughs> like when, when you said you want to meet up with me, I was like, yes, Let's yes, do it. This is, oh, for sure, for sure, yeah, well, you're one of my favorite people. Ah, oh, come on, so, same here. So, for me to have this opportunity, you had to say yes. I remember I talked about the black exploitation film. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, we were talking for like hours, right? I was genius, I love oh, it. Oh, nice. I think for me, <laughs> Posters, yes, the posters, but the title. Oh. So much imagination. Oh. It, it really shocks me when you discover these things about history. Just forgotten gems. Actually, you know what? So, yesterday I was watching documentary on what's his name? Quincy Jones. Oh, yeah, oh, fantastic. Honestly, like, that just confirmed to me that I don't know that much. <laughs> Like Quincy Jones has, has done legend, everything. Legend. Yeah. I love the um the quote he had. Um his father told him, Once a task has just begun, be the labor great or small, Oof. do it well or don't do it at all. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Oof. Oh <laughs> Quincy Legacy. He's my he's one of my heroes. I put him out there with MLK. <laughs> 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 the, 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 Anyway, this ending is good. <laughs> We're here. You too, Let's man. Let's talk some more, and I'll send you a couple more links yeah, if I see do, them. Man. Please yeah, do. please do. Yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. Uh, it was a good talk. You too, man. You too. Ah, one. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. Deb. See you soon, man. See you soon. We'll be back. <laughs>